Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. You can connect with me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as my website at pippinings.com, where you can get your Righty Row t-shirt. So I am ready to make my final connections where all my connections are going to come into this bin and hook to my batteries and my inverter. And uh, what I'm going to do today is the charge controller and fuses. So the basics, super basic schematic of a, a solar setup is you have your solar panels and those lead down to your charge controller which um, absorbs all that electricity and sends it to the batteries as needed. Then you have your batteries which is where all of your power comes from and then you have your inverter and that will invert DC into AC or it'll just bypass the DC so that you can use AC and DC electri electric in your, uh, in your RV. So, uh, but uh, that's, that's kind of the basic and um, if, if you want to see the entire electrical schematic that's going on in here, uh, check out my website. You can see the link in the description of this video and you will see a lot of detail that you might not catch in the video, but I'm going to try to go over all of it. Uh, this, okay, so I've got the uh, Morningstar TriStar MPPT charge controller. And if you're unfamiliar of MPPT versus PWM, definitely check out my basic solar series video uh, that talks about charge controllers. So I went with MPPT and definitely my first choice was Morningstar. I got the TriStar. Uh, Morningstar has like just a ton of good reviews. It's one of the top of the line products. And there are other top of the line ones, but they have a lot of bad reviews where, you know, glitches occur and, um, you know, not maximum electric output and there's all sorts of stuff. And this one is kind of like the shining star, you know, and it happens to be TriStar. So anyway, I got Morningstar and um, um, feel pretty happy about it. And this is where I'm placing two fuses. This happens to be an air conditioning disconnect. So if you're installing an air conditioner or something, you might use this. However, it pretty much is just a place to hold fuses. So I am using it for a completely different purpose. It's just, you know, a holder for the fuses. So, so my, these are my lines that are coming down from the roof. They're coming down from my solar panels. They're going to go in here into one fuse and then from there go to my charge controller. So that will be the input of the solar. And that fuse, um, because it's so close to the charge controller and farther away from the solar panels, it's more than, it's not really protecting the line, but it's more something that can just be removed to disconnect the fuse, which means you're kind of turning off the solar panels. You're not turning them off from harvesting, they'll just continue to harvest, but you can use that to just shut them off so you can do some maintenance. Then the output from the charge controller that goes to the batteries will run through the second fuse and that fuse is really important in protecting the line as well it has also got that switch modality you know that you can just disconnect it if you want to do any maintenance on the line. So I'm going to get started by mounting these guys and getting them all wired up. So I mounted this one up higher because it needs six inches below it of ventilation. And if I mounted it down here like this one, it wouldn't have those six inches required. And so this I just mounted down here because where the screws fit wasn't going to match this top piece up here. So this is my red line, my positive line coming in from the solar panels and it's going to go into this fuse and this is where it continues. So it's pretty much a straight line with a fuse in the middle. 
and I noted up here PV that's for the photovoltaic array up top so I know that's coming from system up top here to a fuse and then here so here's where it goes into the charge controller so all that I've added is the positive side to the batteries coming out and then it goes to the fuse and then back out and that's going to go to the positive post on the batteries it is black it should be red but it's black just because the store only had black so I've put these like uh, tape indicators just to say that it's positive also the cable going out is larger this is six gauge this is four gauge because this guy will store current and electricity and it, it can sometimes send more so it needs to be bigger than what comes from the solar panels so this is the negative that's coming down from the solar panels and it can bypass the fuse it doesn't need to be fused we'll just put it in here and this will go to the negative terminal common negative on the solar panel Oops, I guess I have to open it first Now that I've got the charge controller hooked up, I'm ready to run my positive and negative from the charge controller to the battery. So on the battery bank, I've got a designated positive and a designated negative. And instead of having a bunch of cables come into you know this small battery box, you know, that's got like walls and stuff, I'm going to locate the terminals outside of the box. So this is what the positive terminal, the battery bank terminal is going to look like. It's just an insulated post, 3 8 And so I will locate this out for ease, you know, and convenience. And um, that way I can have all of my cables run into a easier location than inside this kind of uh, enclosed cube. And then for the negative post, I will be using this, this is a shunt, and the reason why I'm using this is because I'm using a third-party monitor to monitor my voltage, and it requires this. So, so one of these actually will replace the negative side of the battery. So I will need to install this in there as well, and then once these guys are installed, then I can start hooking up all my positive and negative cables to these terminals. So this is the positive that is coming from the charge controller and I don't need to put this on too much because I'm going to be having other positive runs come here. And this is the negative coming from the charge controller. And just like the positive terminal, this one's going to have a lot of things coming to it. So I'll just leave this one here. I don't have to tighten it. And the only one going to this side is going to be the battery. All this will be all the negatives. So my chassis negative, charge controller negative, inverter negative, all going to come here. And then this will only be the battery negative. So here are the connections with the negatives included. We already talked about the the positives, these are pretty much just a positive coming in, positive going out, negative from the solar panel coming in straight here, negative to the negative terminal going out and behind here. And then uh, the negative is connecting to the shunt up here which is pretty much the negative battery terminal and the positive terminal here. Up to this point I just have the panels and the charge controller hooked up and ready to go. I don't have the batteries hooked up yet and I've got several other things to bring to the positive and negative terminals of the batteries that I just mounted today. So stay tuned for those videos. Also if you 
found any sort of value or entertainment in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching.